Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the channel. And today, in celebration of 700,000 subscribers, I am announcing the brand new Community World Series. This is going to be a collaborative series that viewers of the channel are all going to contribute to together to build an awesome, interactive, themed world that we can all have some part in creating together. And if you couldn't guess by the title of this video and the thumbnail and what we're looking at right now, we are taking a journey to the Red Planet. The theme of this community world is going to be Mars Colony, and this video is going to give you all the information you need to know if you want to participate by submitting tiles or submitting creations. There is some really important information here to make sure that everything blends together well and that we're all on the same page on how everything is going to work, because there are some things that if you miss them, your creation might not work as intended. But here's the vision and why I chose Mars Colony. A lot of people were asking for space, like a space station, zero gravity, things like that. And as much as I like that idea, it is a little bit constricting on what we can create, especially where everything has to be zero gravity. With a Mars colony, we can actually have that and more, because hear me out. The intent of this world isn't going to be purely terrestrial or extraterrestrial since we're on Mars. The Mars location can actually add for a couple of different types of creations and styles of creations. We can have the human element, the surface of Mars. You can have our colony buildings, our Mars rovers, are, you know, land-based exploration vehicles, things like that. And on top of that, there can also be this dark, mysterious underbelly. Maybe there's actually life on Mars somewhere. Maybe there's some actual alien technology on Mars somewhere. There might be some hidden caves, some mysterious obelisks, things like that. Things that our rover and exploration might be able to locate. So that adds for a whole nother element other than just the standard Mars colony stuff. And on top of that, we can still have a space station. We can have our people that are actually on the surface and we can have our space station orbiting, technically orbiting, around the planet that is actually in zero G up in the sky. And that's why if you want to make submissions to this series, you're gonna have to pay really close attention because gravity isn't going to be the same depending on what type of creation you're going to submit. The surface of Mars in this world is going to have an accurate Mars gravity value. I'm going to use the gravity module and I'm going to make gravity 38% of what it is like on Earth. But if you wanna build something for the space station, there is also a zero gravity module that you can attach those specific creations. So although the entire world is gonna be 38% gravity, individual creations that are designed to have zero gravity can have those as well. So I'm about to get into the specifications for tile submissions and creation submissions, but I just wanted to summarize real quick for, for those of you who are looking forward to what to expect with the series. I'm imagining the human Mars colony. I'm imagining some mysterious alien technology that we can find and some maybe some alien caves and stuff as far as tiles goes. And I'm imagining, you know, some exploration vehicles that have to function in the lower gravity and some space vehicles that get to orbit around in the sky in a space station. Okay, if you want to submit your own tile, it is very important that you follow these instructions so that way your tile and everyone else's tile will seamlessly flow together. First is the ground color. This is very important. Over here, there's little hex value. All you got to do is type in BB6033FF and that will give you this exact reddish orange color and you just apply it to the entire tile and it is very important that you get all of the edges especially. You want it to cover every single edge. The ground texture is going to be the sand material. If you do all of it sand material, then we should be good. And the, again, the really important thing is the edge. Now you can use other textures within the tile. Like if you want some darker uh, patches, you can kind of, re oh, I think you actually gotta remove the sand if you wanna use this one. But yeah, you can use some darker patches. You can use some of this stuff. Um, you can really use anything as if it just works with whatever your idea for the tile is. But the really key element is that it has to fade back into the designated textures as it gets to the edges. Because if you do this, then that means when I link up this to another tile, there's just gonna be this hard line here. Same thing if you wanna use any other colors, like if you want black for some reason, um, something gets charred in a particular area then if it meets with the edge, then this is not gonna merge well with anybody else's tile. So we wanna avoid that 
as best we can. And another thing to pay attention to is your terrain height. If you're creating hills and valleys or anything like this, it still has to be standard ground level on the edge. If you start doing stuff like that, that's just not gonna make for good seams. Same thing if you go too high, this edge is just gonna be super obvious where the tile begins and where the tile ends. It'd be really cool to have a nice seamless Mars surface. I'd actually recommend Googling pictures of Mars surface for inspiration on what kind of things to make. There's not a whole lot of fancy stuff going on, but there are some craters, there's some different rock formations, things like that. But overall, I wanna make this a pretty convincing desolate Mars environment. And now I know the real pictures from the Mars surface, it's not actually as red as the red planet name makes it out to be, but I kind of want to make it this shade of red because when we think of Mars and the red planet, everyone has that image of like a really red surface compared to what we're used to. So I think it'd be more fun to go with people's imagined Mars than the real more average Mars. Now, as far as what I'm expecting on these tiles is relatively desolate with some, you know, rocks, some craters on some tiles. However, the plan is that the further we get from the center, the closer we're gonna get to this mysterious alien alien backstory. But even the alien tiles, I want there to be some level of mystery. So I don't want it to be super obvious from a distance that clearly, oh, that's alien stuff. So if you want to go overboard with a tile and have this whole lair or something, I think ideally it should be hidden within some type of cave structure that from a distance looks just like more desolate Mars. The idea is that the human race is going to build up these tiles with creations that people can spawn in. But I thought it'd be great if the whole world itself was actually pieced together from tiles made from the community as well. So so it's gonna be like a community build from the ground up, literally the ground, we're building the ground. And as far as tile sizes, I'll accept anything between small and large. Extra large, I kind of want to avoid because they take up so much space that could be allowed for multiples of other people to have a spot on this Mars landscape. But if for some reason you have this amazing, super brilliant concept that only an extra large tile can accommodate it, it just, it just better be that good. But I will only make an exception for like an outstanding tile that has to be extra large. If you can do it on a large tile, go for a large tile instead. Okay, moving on. What if you just want to submit a blueprint? Here are the mods that I will be allowing for this. I prefer to keep the mod list as small as I can to avoid over cluttering and having just unnecessary stuff taking up inventory space. But I think these mod selections should cover most of everything. So I almost always have challenge parts mods, the crazy wheel pack, and the buttons and switches. There will also be the mod pack polygons, as well as the polygons glass, the Scrapman wheel covers, the engineer's toolbox. This allows you to use like a drag reducer, which might be good for some of the zero G creations. The wings mod, because the Mars surface actually does have an atmosphere, so don't use the wings mod for space creations, unless for some reason, just don't rely on the wings for controls unless you're actually building a surface based vehicle and not a space station based one. And then of course the classic mod pack, which gives us our zero G and everything like that. Now, in order to build your creation, I will be uploading this module to the workshop and you should build your creation with this module active in your world because this applies 38% gravity. So standard gravity feels like this in scrap mechanic, enable this and suddenly we're on Mars. This is essentially Mars gravity and it will affect all the creations in the world. So this is essential if you wanna build a surface rover based creation or a Mars helicopter or things like that. If you build it without this, it might have some unexpected behavior when I spawn it in with 38% gravity in the new world. So all surface-based creations should be built with this active. So on the other hand, if you want to build a zero-G based vehicle, one that is not going to be subject to Mars gravity because it's going to be up in orbit, that is where this gravity module is going to come into play. The gravity modulator is going to be making the entire Mars surface 38% gravity, but the gravity module, if you just slap this on any of your creations and then turn it on, it will suddenly become completely zero G. And it seems unaffected by this thing right here. And even if I turn and even if I turn this on or off, you can still see it, it maintains zero G, just staying up there. And then if I turn this off, it falls back down to the ground. Yeah, so this right here is what it feels like to drive around on Mars gravity. It's definitely a lot floatier, a lot less, uh, a lot less traction on this thing on the ground. I'm trying to turn, but it's not really letting me that much when I when I give it the gas. In contrast, here's normal gravity. 
And yeah, this thing has much more traction, can turn much sharper. So that's why it's important to build your creations based off of this gravity module. Now, in order to submit your creations, I will have dedicated channels in my Discord. I will have a discussion channel for just talking with other people about plans and ideas. And if you want to collaborate with people to build a creation together, there will be a discussion channel dedicated to the Mars world. There will be a tile submissions channel with all the rules for the tiles laid out. And there will be a creation submissions channel for all of the, with all the rules of the creations laid out. But please keep the chat and discussion only to the discussion channel. There will be a link down in my description, which will let you join the discord. Make sure you read the rules and stuff. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with because every past series has started with some idea in my mind when I first start out. And then as viewers submit creations, it kind of evolves into something I didn't really intend from the beginning and just makes it even better. So I am open to suggestions on different directions this might be able to go. I'm just laying out a basic foundation to start from and let's see where we can take it. Obviously, first priority is we gotta get the world built. So tile builders get to work. I will be putting them together probably next week. Hopefully I get enough people interested in building tiles to actually put together a world. I hope you guys are looking forward to this as much as I am. If you missed any of the previous community builds, I'll leave a link down in descriptions and I'll leave a link to a playlist of one or two of them right here on the end screen so you can check out what, you know, previous communities have managed to put together. Thanks again for 700k. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.